Pan paniscus, the closest living relative to humanity and one of the top endangered species of the International Union of the Conservation of Nature's Red List. This presentation will discuss the population and ecology of this great ape, biological and physiological features that set them apart from other great apes, the issues surrounding the endangerment of the species, current conservation efforts including direct and indirect, an analysis of these efforts as well as further solutions and the anthropological importance of preserving the species. The pan paniscus is from the primate order, family hominidae, genus pan. The common name for the species is the bonobos ape or bonobos monkey, formerly known as the pygmy chimpanzee or lesser ape due to the more slender build of this species of pan, the other being the chimpanzee. Bonobos have black coats and are born with black faces and white rump tufts. Their forearms are longer than their legs. They have very long fingers and mobile shoulder joints to accommodate their partially bipedal partial ground foraging lifestyles. Bonobos are less aggressive than other species of great apes and are very socially stable. Females rule the social roost with an alpha female deciding the dominant status of an alpha male. The relationship of mothers and their sons are long term in bonobo society and ranking of son is dependent on the social ranking of the mother. Interestingly enough, a mother's rank is determined not just by age and number of offspring, but particularly by the amount of male offspring she has produced in her lifetime. Bonobos are slightly sexually dimorphic, where males are taller and larger in body mass than females. This great ape uses sex for many purposes, including most frequently for bonding and anxiety relief. It is also speculated that sex may be a form of reciprocity involved in food sharing, particularly if the, in the rare instance where a male is the one that is sharing. The bonobos in captivity, as well as in the wild, have a complex communication style that incorporates many distinguishable calls, hoots, and screams, and have very expressive faces that accommodate these calls. What is anthropologically relevant in this regard is that bonobos in captivity have unique forms of play and communication that are not found in the wild. A further anthropological benefactor of this species is the tendency of the bonobo to walk bipedally. Bonobos are the most bipedal apes known to science. This can be attributed to the differential weight distribution, long feet and thigh bones, and the central position of the form and magnum. Bonobos apes are mothered intensively for the first five years of their lives when they are rarely seen far from their mothers. Promiscuity in the bonobo society leaves the mother to raise the young extensively. In the first year of their lives, babies ride mothers ventrally, holding tightly to their bellies. In, the mean, in this time, they get all its sustenance from nursing. Even if they may mouth, may mouth food, as nothing is actually consumed. The development of bonobos are relatively slow and gestation is long, like other hominidae species. In the second year of life, a bonobo mother will allow her child to play without interference, but not far from her. Mobility in this year of life is still clumsy, and therefore a wandering youngster will be guided back to wherever the mother is by the mother herself. In the third year of life, mobility develops more fully, and young begin to ride the mother dorsally and playing more independently and further away from her. Between the ages of four and five, the youngster is weaned, and the partnership of mother and child begins to rely on sexual bonding to remain close. Sons always remain close to their mothers, but daughters' relationships begin to sever around the age of sexual maturity to avoid the chance of inbreeding with any possible father. The minimum range of the bonobos ape is believed to be an area of about 500,000 kilometers squared. These primates are only native to what is the current Democratic Republic of Congo and their habitat is nearly surrounded by the Congo River and entirely surrounded by bodies of water. This area is mostly swampy rainforest and some savanna and dry forest. Foraging areas include many semi-deciduous trees that produce fleshy, fleshy fruits and swamp meadows with an underlying peat layer. Annual climate for this area is between 68 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit and annual rainfall is between 5.25 and 6.56 feet. Bonobos are the only great ape on their side of the Congo. Chimps and gorillas reside on the opposite side. The DR DC DRC government 
and many local, global, and western conservation organizations have begun to preserve habitats where bonobos are spotted. However, there are still areas of the DRC that require proper protection and all that could use more funding. The bonobo is frugivorous with 57% of diet consisting of fruit. <clears throat> the rest of the diet consists of a lot of interesting vegetation, some fungus, honey, insect larvae, and in rare instances, small mammals. Bonobos are opportunistic predators. They will not seek out meat, but if it is available, they will consume it. Food is a large part of bonobo society. Social activity is largely attached to food sharing, and 20% of a typical day consists of foraging, while another 20% consists of actually eating. The Pampaniscus operates in a fission fusion social organization with large groups of up to 150 that break into smaller groups of 2 to 20 to forage. Females immigrate from their family groups as they begin to sexually mature between the ages of 7 and 9. This is an integral part of bonobo society as female relationships are the strongest and most weight-bearing. This also prevents inbreeding. During this time, these females enter new groups and begin bonding rituals and dominant older females from those groups. These young females learn the ways of the dominant older females and begin building their social ranking when they mate and give birth to their first offspring between 13 and 14 years of life. Sexual interaction takes many forms in bonobo society and is a multi-purpose tool. It takes place in all partnerships and is a source of affection, a means to strengthen relationships, and a way to ease tensions within the community in addition to providing the means to reproduce. Reproduction is possible between the ages of 6 and 11 for females when Monarch begins. Monarch has four stages, pre-swelling of the gametes or sex skin, swelling, post-swelling, and menses. There is no known correlation between ovulation in these stages. The only time that a female's sex skin lies flat is prior to monarch and the year following birth of an infant. Male sexual maturity is estimated at around 9 years, but is best determined at the full development of the testes. Males are largely absent from the parenting practices in bonobo society, which is believed to be a result of promiscuity, though aggression towards young and infanticide are not reported. First to the Pampaniscus center on human interaction. Civil unrest as a result of over a decade-long war that spilled into the DRC. This war left millions dead and destroyed the economy and any farmlands that had formerly developed and flourished. In the aftermath, the people here have sought out whatever source of income and sustenance available. The desperation therein led to a large illegal bushmeat trade as well as commercial logging and slash and burn agriculture. This level of poverty is also associated with a discouraging lack of health and social services which has perpetuated the threat, of threat to wildlife via disease transmission. Bushmeat trade is very popular in the forests of Central and West, West Africa. It is also very illegal. The population involved in this trade is in the thousands, and losses to the great ape community is estimated around 8,000 annually. If this continues at the current rate, great apes are estimated to reach extinction in the next two decades. The timber industry is often accompanied by poachers for bushmeat trade, and the timber industry supports poaching as less interferences with wildlife make an easier job at cutting down trees. 
Most poachers have fallen into the trade out of necessity, and given the option would gladly earn honest wages if given the opportunity. Instances of conservation from hunters to protectors are widespread. International education is the key to this conversion, particularly in public schools. Sustainable nutrition is another way to further protect our hominid eye cousins. Previously mentioned, the Congolese that survived the long period of war have been ravaged by civil unrest and have been starving. Malnutrition is common, especially among children. Less than half the population of the DRC has access to clean drinking water. Across the Congo River, chimpanzees must compete with gorillas for food and water. But the bonobos must compete with our species of primate, and unfortunately this population of humans are desperate for the same resources that the bonobos depend on to survive. Due to the lack of consistent social and health services, the infant and maternal death rates in the DRC are overwhelming. The high maternal death rate has left over 4 million children orphaned as of 2008. The population of the DRC that is known to live with HIV and AIDS is approximately 1.3%. More than 4 million children do not attend school, more than half of which are girls. Child labor is also common as well as child participation in militia and gang activity. The poverty rate in the DRC is stiflingly high at above 70% with an annual income of 100%. $100. This is a map of the Democratic Republic of Congo that gives the distribution of great apes respectively, though it does not include the, the lesser ape, the Pampanuscus. The DRC is 324 kilometers squared on this map, um, slightly smaller than what is estimated to be the range of the bonobos, with a population of near 4.5 million and a patchy distribution of great apes. It is a major concern that sustainability be reached in individual communities prior to the extinction of the great ape. Religious charities, the U.S. government, the U.N., and many national and global organizations have been a part of preserving the biodiversity of the Demo Democratic Republic of Congo to varying degrees. From here we focus on past and current efforts. In reference to focused aid versus holistic aid, we're talking about range as well as the factors surrounding the endangerment of the bonobos aid. The first organization of focused aid to acknowledge and the most widely known wildlife preservation contributor is the World Wildlife Fund. WWF collects donations all over the world for their African Great Ape program, which helps to find surveys, helps to fund surveys and protection at the Solonga National Park. This park is the largest habitat for bonobos and houses a lot of research activity from organizations and zoological societies all over the world. Another source of focused aid is the United Nations Great Ape Survival Partnership of Africa and Asia, or GRASP. Um, of the 23 Great Ape range states, GRASP focuses on the 13 least developed, particularly the 10 that are in a period of conflict or post-conflict. GRASP works with the government of these range states and directs funding for conservation on a global scale. However, it is a concern that their website says very little about the specific funding of the bonobos in the DRC. The last source of focused aid that prevailed in my research was the Bonobo and Congo Biodiversity Initiative, which is an affiliate of the Zoological Society of Milwaukee. This organization is also involved in the efforts at Solonga National Park and aids in the Congolese Institute for the Conservation of Nature, a promising institution located in the protected confines of Solonga National Park. The most holistic approach 
at conservation that aimed directly to conserve the Pampanisca species is the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, 